All right, so these are seismic audio 15 inch passive subwoofers. There's no amplifier on these subwoofers. And what I did is I took out the 15 inch subwoofer and replaced them with SCAR Audio DDX D4 woofers. Each woofer has an impedance of eight ohms each. When you parallel them together, they got a four ohm load on the amplifier. The amplifier is a Behringer NX6000, the one on the bottom right there, which produces 3,000 watts times two. So each sub is getting about 1,500 watts. And in order for this to work, I had to make custom grill extenders for all these guys. And I used one inch foam insulation tape to keep these suckers from rattling. And we're gonna turn up the base here and you'll see these things throb in a second. But I got these suckers bolted in stupid tight and with corner protectors. So you're asking, why would I do this? Uh, here's the specs on the DDX-15. Uh, these are essentially rated for about 1,000 watts, 1,500 peak. And they go low. They go low. These are vented. And I got some bass tronics here. Let's listen to them. This should be played at high volume, preferably in a residential area. That essentially is just working the living hell out of these woofers and they handle it. They handle the power easily. And you gotta ask yourself why, why would someone do this? So you get the best of both worlds. These are essentially DJ PA subwoofer cabs that needed a little bit extra power handling capacity, a little bit better sound. The SCAR Audio subwoofers have copper voice coils and they're just made for, for punishment. The other ones, the stock ones I had in there, I, I cooked them. I cooked them with this amplifier. Way too much power, overpowered them, got that burnt voice coil electronic smell. Uh, I hurt them bad with this amplifier. But now, no problem. These things just, just freaking shake like an earthquake the whole house. So just thought I'd show you that. Uh, weight is pretty good. I do have, still have my big Yamaha 18 inch cabs. I'm going to put those in here. Those things are just way too monstrous for this house. Um, these, these, do, these sound actually sound better and uh, it's a better fit for this living room here. And uh, I love it. I love it. The JBL tops, those things are just freaking marvelous, marvelous speakers. So there you have it. Just thought I'd show you that for if you really like bass and high power uh, using car audio subwoofers in a portable DJ PA style box, even studio monitor. I mean, you can make these studio monitors. There's no uh, grill slap, just clean, no huff and chuff, nothing. Just beautiful sounding. Um, I did have to replace the Nutrick um, speak on connectors in the back. Cold solder joints, so I got some from Parts Express. They have two each, so I had to buy eight of them, and I replaced those and used real speaker wire. The speaker wire, stock speaker wire that was in here, like 20 gauge, <laughs> I mean, it was terrible. So I replaced that with the correct uh, speaker wire. So, but I got these wired for eight ohms each. These are the D4s wired for eight ohms each. So when you parallel them, the load on the amplifier is four ohms. 
on each side. And there you have it. Fun times. Love my freaking boom booms. All right, later.